it's me again and today is day four of my seven days poetry reading so this is the next day and today we're gonna read chapter oh part three of my book and it's called um part three of my book <laughs> it's called the quest for god in a harsh reality which is perfect for now so that's why i'm reading my book for you and i'm gonna read from day 20 Day 24, victory battle against rulers of darkness. This one is a bit more of a fiction kind of thing, but bear with me. All right. In the battle, of, well, it's not fiction. It's reality. It's actually reality. Okay. Okay. In the battle against rulers of darkness, I fight as a child of God for righteousness, yet the battle is hard and draining. I feel helpless as the fiery darts hit me and hit me and hit me again. I fall, but I feel I can't get up. Then I look back up to God. I call and call and call. I see no answer, hear no answer, feel no answer. Where are you? Why are you fighting? Why am I fighting this alone? I cry. I sit and wait and wait and wait. Then I hear and feel a rumble. It's calling my name. Looking around, I see nothing. I call again. Here I am. Words of life flood my heart as he replies back with power. Get up, my child. You are mine. I will never leave you. Trust me. Believe me. I am with you. You, for you are mine. I slowly regain my strength, inching up to stand tall and fly. Finally erect with power and might and power, I slay the dragon of Nefarity. Satan fades away and leaves behind the tracks of retreating defeat. As I step forward and claim the already won victory, I rejoice. And my Savior, I, it was done through him, the Lord Jesus Christ, his death and his resurrection. And the verse I added here at the bottom, dear friends, do not be surprised at the painful trial you are suffering as though something strange was happening, were happening to you, but rejoice that you participate in the sufferings of Christ so that you may be overjoyed when the glory is revealed. And that is in first Peter chapter four, verses 12 to 13. And I hope you enjoyed that. And also there's a reflection for this, for this day, for day 20, for day, yeah, day 24. And the reflection is, do you feel like you are drowning in overwhelming situations today? Read Isaiah 43 verses two to three. And I hope that will bless you for today. Read Isaiah, all right? Read Isaiah 43 verses two to three. Be encouraged.